Dr. Jason Saunders with HBOT USA. So here's question number two. So how do we actually extract the oxygen from the air that we're breathing and, and be able to get it into our system so that we could deliver it to our cells? And so basically, uh, gases move through a gradient, a pressure gradient. So, you know, if you remember back in high school chemistry class, you know, things move from high concentration to low concentration. And so basically there's a pressure in the atmosphere around us. I live at sea level, so the pressure around me is 14.7 PSI. So there's a, there's a pressure of the air around me that I breathe. We don't perceive it, we don't feel it, but it exists. That pressure creates a density of air. So the oxygen and nitrogen, which are the primary gases in, our, in the air that we breathe, there's a certain pressure which is keeping them uh, condensed in a certain manner. And when I breathe in, I could draw that air in. And because the pressure of oxygen is greater in the atmosphere than it is in my circulation, as I draw that oxygen in, uh, the pressure gradient drives the oxygen from greater concentration to lower concentration. So from the air into my lungs, from my lungs into my circulation. From there, we rely on primarily red blood cells. So red blood cells have hemoglobin on them. Hemoglobin binds to oxygen and it's able to then carry the oxygen all over our body. And then our cells are gonna have a lower concentration of oxygen than our red blood cells. And so as, the, as our body travel, as the red blood cells travel through our body and get to tissue that need oxygen, the oxygen then comes off of the red blood cells and starts to oxygenate our tissues. And the entire process, like I started with, is driven by pressure gradients and diffusion. And so we're drawing it from high concentration to low into our body, and then we're drawing it from higher concentration on our red blood cells to lower concentration in our cells.